So it's time for a new gun video and this time a gun video without a gun but um, I really needed a new shooters box because the old one was way too small and uh, very roughly made by like fast and dirty and uh, I made a new one with my new table saw I will show you later the new table saw is a real game changer I have to I have to say and uh, the box I didn't done off camera because I need some more experience with the new table saw and a lot of concentration to make any wrong cuts or not to make any wrong cuts and on the top of the new shooters box I will do some marquetry with veneer and that I will show you now so let's go so here you can see the shooters box everything is already done more or less uh, on the bottom we have two drawers and on top we have the lid and on the lid we will make the marquetry and then later when I glued everything together I can open you open it and show you some of the features and now let's go and I really will need some glasses
and here you can see what will be the result. It will take some time, several hours to cut the veneer. Then I need to cut the filling pieces. And uh, later I will glue everything together. The best thing is, or to my opinion, the best way to cut veneer is with a very sharp thin knife. And never cut it in one stroke try to cut it in one stroke because then it's easy to break it or uh, to to shift the 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 guide for the cutting but uh, if you take a very thin knife very sharp and cut in several strokes then it stays like it is and then this makes the cutting much easier so I will finish this off camera and then we start making the outside so time for gluing I put a sheet of plywood with a straight edge cut it on the table saw that I have a clear axis to guide my parts and now I can start with gluing.
I can show you some of the features of the box. So in the bottom we have two drawers and on top we have these two pins. That's the locking mechanism for the drawers. We have a brass pin and a spring in the bottom. And when I close the lid, the pins will be forced into the drawers and it's not possible to open them. And in the, in the inside the box, <laughs> there is one divider. Here on the front side, there will be a second, I would say, take out to pay, uh, put some smaller parts in the rear is enough space for bottles or glasses with, uh, with round balls. And this will be the rest for the gun for cleaning. Very simple mechanism. You have on the bottom this cutout, 50 millimeters high, and the counterpart is glued in the bottom. So if I put it in like this, it slides down easily. And if I take it out, it will rest way higher and I can make a cutout for a gun rest. I will cut out the sides as well and then I can rest the gun here. So now we wait for the glue to cure. So and this divider can be taken out. So the star pattern is done and now we will make the background and for the background I will rotate the uh, grain of the wood to give it a, yeah, a more decent look. So. Oh. 
Now here you can see what I meant with rotating the grain. Here on top the grain is like this and I orient it every time on the tip of the star. So this one is like this, the next one the grain is like this, 
here the grain is like this and here the grain should be like this. And the next one is again uh, vertical. So one by one we can go around and make all the plates that will fill the space. So this one is ash. That was is uh, walnut and the outside is uh, maple. So we go on with this off camera and then later I will show you the result after uh, when I glue it and then we will see. So all veneers are cut it and you already can see that the shadow of the veneer is different depending on the uh, on the direction of light because the grain direction is in the circle everywhere different so I never did this kind of pattern before but it looks pretty nice so let's go for gluing so we go one by one
extended dark for now. Not a kite. And tomorrow we can see if it all works well.
Now you will see the final result. You see? The different directions of the veneer brings a very distinct look. It's almost like mother of pearl with a shine. And under every light direction, we have different areas that have this shine for the background. And in total, it was about including the, the gluing itself six hours five hours something like that and the cutting of all the parts so that it fits at the end that's really annoying i cannot say any other word for that so that's all for now and until next time